And I think we are back on air. Okay. Right. We'll we'll give it a minute for people to find us. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, guys, if you're watching what, this. What stuff. kind of a show before Christmas would it be if it went off without a technical itch? Eh? I mean, I've got to go in and find the chat. Um, we should yeah. pretend that we we should pretend that we meant it. <laughs> like you know, just just part of the thing. People <laughs> like, know us too well for that. It's it's our shtick. <laughs> like, bad. I'm tech. gonna try and find the live <laughs> chat. Well, for that, it's it's our. Sh- there we go. Yeah, we are working now. Which yeah, is... if you're watching this after the event, um, this is take two because the first one, it wasn't an issue my end that I can work out all the here's end. It looks like it was a YouTube issue. Yeah, it was definitely, um, it's very strange, but it was definitely a YouTube issue, guys, because our, our Hangout was working absolutely fine. Um, right, so okay. there's a bunch of people finding us. We've got 39, 40, right, yeah, people are back in. So sorry about that, guys. We were we were mid-flow. I don't know how long we were frozen on your screens. Um, so, yeah, welcome again. Karin's back in, Lincoln Seller. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep the stream running because I normally pause it, so I'm just going to keep it running in the back so I can keep an eye on it as well. So if it does pause, we can be like, okay, we've paused. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome back. Um, oh, hey, George, yeah. how are you? Corin says no Santa hats, guys. You, I, okay, I do love Christmas and the whole thing. I really do, but I just, I just don't wear the hats or the jumpers and things. I mean, like Beck um, made me like watch the turning on of the Christmas lights of our Christmas tree, like it was at Traval- Trafalgar Square or something. And I was down. Well, you know what? I just wasn't. I just they love it. Bless them. The girls love it. Beck loves it. You know, they they get into the spirit of it. And it's kind. Of, it is heartwarming. You know, but I am a bit. I'll be honest. I'm a bit of like a Grinch about it until until the day. You know, until the day. I'm happy on the day when I'm eating a big Christmas dinner. You know, and getting like the. This is what I'm like. I I get a lot of flack. Andrew and Ellen are like Christmas, all about Christmas from about October. I have my fill after five minutes, you know, and then I really like you. I really love Christmas Day, yeah. the food, the family. That's what it is. But the whole lead up, just I'm bored. But after but, I days. have to be really careful when Beck's watching Christmas movies. Um, like like she li- likes to catch the odd Christmas movie, and because they're all so like. You know, they're the same, aren't they? They have the same storylines and things like that. And if I stand there and start like. Yeah, you know, I bet this is going to happen and stuff, and it just didn't winds her up because I can understand because you know you're trying to watch something and she knows what she knows they're corny as well, but I just I don't know, not my cup of tea. So yeah, no sense. The cheesiness is the point, I think. Certainly, but <laughs> look, she's in there, careful, man. careful, man. Uh, she's yeah. She's just... Andrew and Ella will watch the same movies oh, year yeah. after year. They'll yeah. Watch- Santa She's, Claus and Elf. they're the same. They're the same. They they love doing that. I don't understand it. I, I'm I, 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 <laughs> in here and work. That's <laughs> uh, no. I, th- I think we yeah. should stop talking about this because yeah. I've got a feeling we'll be in the minority and there'll be some <laughs> ganging up happening. So well, of... <laughs> we were in mid flow, but I'm not sure what we were talking about. So, but we were having a look back on, on the year. We've been talking about reselling and how both of our businesses kind of just took a turn and, and we've, we've run with it. And and that's what I've certainly learned to do over the years of doing this. And I think Zahir, you're finding yourself in the same boat of seizing on, on an opportunity and running with it. And that's what this year has been all about for both of us. Yeah. But I wanted to particularly look back on things that we've done outside of work, um, YouTube, some of the events we got involved <laughs> in. The marathon was this year, that feels so long ago. I- the marathon, I've got to say, is like a blur now. Um, Beck and I actually I talked about it the other day that like we gave a lot of time to it, you know, the the training and the walking. Um, and I remember like it took days out of your week um, yeah. sometimes, oh, especially miss, near I, the end. You I missed mean, the training. Yeah, I miss getting I we we planned after the marathon to carry on having walking. Not to that, it's not the 20 mile training walk, you know, <laughs> yeah, the, the five, five miles a day, yeah. Eight or ten. yeah. But we just because the pressure to do it and be fit for a marathon isn't there, we just yeah. go, Oh, we, we'll do it tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow. And it hasn't happened. And I miss that. I think my body misses it. 
it was it, it it was a nice habit to have. It did become very normal, didn't it? Like, but yeah, you're right. I mean, looking back and actually and seeing what um, this whole YouTube thing has 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 achieved, it's been amazing. I mean, like, um, yeah, like the, the the marathon, the support we got for the marathon was amazing, and just the the whole experience was crazy. It was it was brilliant. I mean, it was very trying. The the day itself, I remember like what i wasn't prepared for on the day was the the fact that you got there at like six or seven or eight in the evening but you didn't actually start walking till like gone midnight nearly one o'clock so you were stood around um you know just itching to get going um and you couldn't because you had to wait for some dolly parton lookalike or something to I know. Well, we were tired by the time we started particularly yeah. you driven down yeah and then we'd, we'd wandered around we'd had had a meal then we'd stood yeah. around in that massive tent for hours yeah yeah and we started at midnight we were knackered when we set off <laughs> oh gosh it was and i remember just when we started to get near the end it was like so tough and and we started seeing people in cafes and stuff because it, yeah. it literally we'd walked i'm actually still proud of myself now when i talk about it because it's just like we literally walked through the whole night like constant walk it wasn't just like we were up all night it was we were walking straight through and it was like seven odd in the morning and then you saw some people actually taking a um like a, a bit in you know a break in the old um cafes and everything yeah, and we just, saw people being yeah. carted off in ambulances people collapsing on the floor. yeah on, on, on the more serious side yeah it was yeah, pretty... that, right that last long hill up i remember a lady collapsed not far in front of us oh and gosh people on hand to help her out yeah, yeah i remember that yeah that hill I, at I the end we weren't... People, like why would they do that like right at the end why would you do that and the uh, last few miles, I, I was worried. You went really quiet. I thought you, yeah, I was, okay. yeah, I, you were in I, a lot of pain. We all I were, was, yeah. fair, but I think you were struggling. I was fair. really struggling. I, I I struggled. Yeah, I didn't. I was in a foul mood by the end. Yeah. Well, we, we kind of chatted on and off when we had a long time together. It was like seven, yeah. eight hours. But the last couple of hours, <laughs> we were just like stony face stare at the floor stare at head <laughs> it was hard as nails it was horrible it was amazing though it was it would i wouldn't change it for the world it was amazing it was yeah. it was looking back you can now look back and kind of be amazed by it yeah. um there are some alternatives being offered by the chat such as sib saying the time i split z split his pants live on camera and um there's a few about the cramp <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny. Those are those are funny for a different reason. Oh, those are memorable for a different reason. Um, I think I think the stuff that Nick and I are talking about, at least it's you know, it's it's something you can look back on and be like, wow, as a community, we all participated with you, you know, with you guys raising the funds as well. It was amazing. Um, and then obviously, you know, not long ago, it's been since the auction as well. I mean, that's yeah, again yeah. thanks to um, you know, power well, of like with the community. marathon, there wouldn't have been much point doing it without the support of the um, of, of the the supporters of both of our channels although we did get a little bit of support from our families that paled into insignificance from what we got from from the youtube audience so it was down to you guys that we raised however much that was a couple of thousand i think on that but the auction blew my mind in a completely different way because tom and i had no real expectation from that yeah and and the generosity of the stuff that was donated just blew us away and then we were like are we actually going to get anyone bidding are, are these generous people are going to yeah. get like 10 pounds for their really lovely fancy item or whatever and right, then yeah. on the actual night the items went crazy and some of the stuff i mean i'll never forget selling those furbies for 400 pounds that is insanity that is <laughs> the definition of insanity was four furby or was was it five five furbies i think with the little one sold for 400 pounds and then of course chris said i only want you to smash one up so we resold the other ones and then well no they were they were raffled and then yeah. the, of the raffle sold them again for charity and put that money but it was just amazing 
yeah i mean it was just it was it was really great to see people just being just generous wasn't it it was just the generosity for such a good cause so i mean those things were just fantastic I, really i won't forget that for a long time i've i've no. i've no. talked about that with friends and family outside of reselling and they it just, gives you they were, they were listening in complete disbelief when i tried to describe what happened I, i've got to say it's something that um it's it I don't, once you start doing these things it, it's amazing like you know i'm ashamed to say that before the head shave personally i'd never really done anything for charity at all like yeah of course i'd put money in like a parcel by like you know like you know when you put a quid in here or there or someone's waiting at the end of the checkout at sainsbury's you know like whatever they're waiting for you know the, the all the different charities i've done it like that but um watching rebecca do the moonwalk when in london um that always stuck with me because i was there i i went me and the girls went to to see her finish and um, when she did it with her work colleagues and when she did that it, it just something about that stuck with me and that's when I, I decided to do like the head shave which was which was mind-blowing in itself like i think we raised about two and a half grand yeah to shave my hair and <laughs> yeah again thanks to the community and it was just mind-blowing um and it felt really amazing um as well so you know being not to be selfish about it but you do you feel brilliant that you managed to help raise yeah, so much money. i think and, yeah. but then i got that thing where i was like it was good but then i wanted it to be challenging as well and that's when you know the seeds of the marathon <laughs> came in yeah. and it's it's snowballed and it's like from going all my life like you know i'm 37 right all my life i've done like zero charitable events and then in the space of a 12 month span probably just under or just over it would be like if you did it not from you know yeah. january to january within a 12 month span to have uh, to have like you know been part of like three huge events like it feels brilliant like it just feels you know just feels yeah. brilliant well i was going to say that the, the three events they, they all kind of spawned from that crazy hair shaving event which which really i think opened our eyes to we have this little bit of a platform called youtube we have an audience and people people what we realized on that was people want to get involved people are generous and seeing as we have this platform we should use it and i think that really motivated Tom and I to do the whole auction thing and get that organized. So yeah, amazing. I think there will be something next year. There are no plans, but no. I think perhaps one big charity event a year or maybe a couple, I don't know. It is going to carry on because why not? It was so much fun. That's the main thing. And it should be, you know, it shouldn't be, it should, you should enjoy giving to charity. And exactly. Send. Um, there are a couple of mentions here. I think Lex is proud of the time she got you to say a swear word live on stream. <laughs> That's in there. Oh, it's, funny. Yeah. it's funny how people remember. It's so cool. This is the nice thing about being able to share these live chats with the chat is because we've all got like different little memories of bits that, that stick with you. I mean, Mr. Diggs deal says, yeah, the auction was mind blowing um oh, that time nick bashed andrea on the head over several weeks says <laughs> i'm guessing that's like the close shaves with the guitar hero yeah um, uh karen says nick surely your highlight with chatting with me in april well surely that goes without saying karen, <laughs> sure. I, and I peter really ray's got a good question um question nick are you going to do a twenty thousand subscriber special at um as you're near that is something that's worth pointing out that is amazing oh, i i was kind of looking at the numbers and that might coincide with around christmas to new year so i i did kind of say we might organize a uh, price is right for this week i haven't had a moment to think about that so we'll probably coincide a christmas new year maybe reaching twenty thousand if i get there and do us a, a price is right special because it's been a long time since we've done that and um i think that would be good and try and get some of the guys like Stephen steph back on uh, yourselves and so yeah i would love to do something for that um, I was say, going back to karen saying um when i had karen on for a chat i really enjoy those and that's something in the new year i want to to really get back into again is getting guests on um highlights for me um i really really thoroughly enjoyed chatting to pete craigslist hunter um i'd love to get him on again at some point 
fascinating chap and some of the chats um again another american one i had um joe my pack rat on lovely lovely chap um i really enjoy those so i'll get back into that in the new year i think definitely well worth doing um <laughs> southwest sellers says hashtag bashing the box and hashtag grinding the bean um <laughs> Current says, zine pigtails, an image burnt on my brain. You know what? I tried not to think about the whole hour. Um, <laughs> was... I've got screen grabs, which are actually on our on our blog, if you don't, if you don't believe us. There's just a zine with like half a shaved head and got big rosy cheeks. I know, right? I mean... <laughs> but... um... Did I say that live, Lex? Apparently. That's what I just saw. <laughs> She brings um, it out in me. She has a way of, of bringing out the, the best in people. Um, Sean McMullen says, the whole auction just worked. Amazing, given we paid money and relied on all those people to post items out. Renewed my faith in humans, Law. I mean, it really was. I mean, I know we talk about it an awful lot, but it's because it is such... It, you know, it is such an amazing example. And it just shows that people generally, especially when you're you know bring like tying reselling into it. It, it it's so easy to become um kind of questioning and and um you know a bit bit kind of down on people because it's the business almost promotes that because you're invested in it because because our businesses are so personal to each one of us that you know we're not in some big corporation where you're just a tiny cog in the wheel your employee number three five eight nine one two or whatever you're, you, it's your business it's very personal so when for example you feel that you may have possibly be, been wronged in a way or whatever it can really hit home in a way that maybe it never has done and it can make people a little bit kind of negative towards people and i think doing um you know seeing things like you know the auction um shows that inherently most people are actually really nice and most people are actually very generous and care about one another and um it's I think yeah. business in general can easily make you very jaded. It can make you very cynical. That's the one I was looking at. Just focused on money. Uh, and I think what the auction did for me, and also with YouTube, you, YouTube can become very samey, very kind of stale. And what the whole experience of that did for me was really revitalize why I do this, um, the love I have for this community that is built up around it. And like you just said, it inspires you because people people blew us away. I mean, the money that was being donated, the items that were being donated, the the little things that came out of it, Lex with the nipple tassels, that whole thing. It just it just made you realise that people are amazing, and that's oh, what I think. Mr. Chat, but he's behind this giant boat. Oh my! Yeah, I still haven't quite forgiven you for that. I thought so. <laughs> I've got him. Oh, he's up there. I can't get to him. <laughs> oh my prized possession you tell you what i didn't realize um when we were bidding on him i thought i imagined he was about this big he's, he's maybe that's why i went higher in the end <laughs> yeah, oh, they... out too early clearly <laughs> fantastic um but yeah I, I definitely feel that was it was it was a brilliant example of that really um all right this year will definitely be memorable says death by glamour made loads of new friends this year oh i love that. that's very sweet to say and and yes you're right with youtube nick as well like you said it does it's created um a very nice community hasn't it it's like it is i think some of the charm of it is that i uh, like the uk reselling community is still kind of rough around the edges we're not polished i think i like that you yeah. know because it's very easy and youtube itself will encourage you to have a formula about how you do things um and you can tell when people are running to a formula and that takes away some of that connection with the community i think you know when you see people making videos that are exactly 10 minutes long um or, or things like that do you know what i mean like people yeah you've got to i think this is what's so nice about a community it's very i don't think anyone really cares about that stuff it's like just i think one of the things is because we 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 work very hard uh, on our businesses and youtube certainly for us i don't i can't speak yeah. for anyone else is tacked on 
and it's something we do primarily for fun and for the interaction. Yeah, completely. And it shows because we don't really have any production <laughs> values. We don't really. I try, and I do enjoy the editing, but I can't yeah. really find the time, or yeah. and and can't really justify the time. Yeah. Every now and again, I'll, I'll I'll really try and put together a nice polished edited video, but they're they're the uncommon ones, and it's more likely I'll come on and just waffle at people for an hour like this. Yeah, but I think that's what people actually enjoy. I yeah. certainly I look forward to Friday nights and watching you and Beck just make it up as you go along. And that's that's what we enjoy, you know what I mean? And when it becomes silly and when you can't stop laughing and when Beck gets in a mood with you, that's what we watch for. You know, it's true. Uh, there's been a few comments about that in the chat as well. <laughs> <laughs> a few comments. Um, Peter Ray says, um, this year has been great, has met many legendary people, made so many friends, gained more confidence with everything. Um, actually took confidence to vlog in public, to do lives, reselling a lot of different items. And, you know, that is such a great example. I mean, like, you know, yeah, I, I had written down to, mm -hmm. to give Pete a mention because um, I've got to know Pete and I've had the pleasure of meeting Pete in person when it came up to Hitchin. And his channel exemplifies what we've just been talking about. Pete just puts himself out there, has a go, and he's built a channel, you know, just off his own back. And uh, yeah. Uh, so I've enjoyed seeing uh, Pete's channel grow. A few new people that have come on the scene, I've enjoyed watching uh, Mel Sparrow's End, um, who I've actually had the pleasure to meet now, exclusive. Uh. Um, Lex as well, just makes us all laugh and is fantastic on YouTube. There's so many people that this year their channels have started to blossom. And it's great to see that, you know, it's not just a handful of us prattling onto ourselves. <laughs> and people out there um wow there's so many comments guys um really appreciate the um interaction is just trying to keep track of it all um wow uh, what's down. your favorite single item you've sold this year oh i don't know this year oh yeah bargain busters question yeah that's cool um was the game this year no wow it wasn't this year. No. Early last year. Yeah, was, well over a year ago. Well over a year. Oh my god! Really it feels well like it was. It feels like it was. <laughs> I just. I. I've got like no time. Yeah, that's um, that's more like a year and a half. Well, not more actually. Yeah, it should still count for this year though, because it was a five grand sale. <laughs> You know, I think you should be you should be riding that out. Whenever anyone I'll, asks you, I'll you're be riding that one for the rest of my life. I'm not going to beat it. Let's face it. Well, you never know. But from a pound, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not, not going to beat. Um, I can't think of any particular sales. I'm going to say that although it wasn't really a sale, it's the Furbies for four hundred pounds. I wasn't selling it on my behalf, but that for me was the best sale of the year. Yeah, I yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to say something that all the sales that happen at the auction as well, they have to be the best sales, don't they, really? Yeah. Um, Lex says that time when he dressed up in a belly dancer. I know that is definitely a dream, Lex. Um, <laughs> I have my limits. Um, and what George from Wally Shed says, I love my sealed Jurassic Park lampshade from the auction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was that a cool was item. Nice item. That was. Yes. Um, right. Just reading the chat, scrolling down. Well, yeah, I'm scrolling down. <laughs> just... Question from Marcella. Um, will you take time off for the holidays? Um, yeah. We are. I actually talked today about uh, we don't usually do this, but just put in our eBay on holiday because I'm, I'm shattered. <laughs> and I could just do a switching it off. Um, no. We may do that um, because I need to spend a lot of time just sorting, just making sense of this stuff anyway. So I'm not going to get much listing done. Um, and then after for the new year, we want to end everything and do a full inventory check anyway. So I might just mm. switch it all off, leave FBA running. No, I don't think we'll be doing it. We've got too much. Um, we've got space issues, so no, we're going to try to sell as many things as we can. Um, Daniel has a question for Z. Have you ever had a week when you've not sold anything? Um, not, not, 
I mean, there's been the odd day, um, but even that's quite rare now. Um, it all depends on, I suppose, um, how much stuff you've got listed and, and, and that kind of thing. You'll normally find that dot days, as it were, or, or, or even a week will tend to happen when you first start out. So, for example, um, if you've just started an eBay store, the chances are you will have days and possibly a, a week or whatever, even more, without a sale. Um, whilst your store's literally finding its feet on eBay. You've got to remember eBay is this huge website with gazillions of stores, most of which are going to be more established and you're completely new. But once you've been selling for a while, it's not likely that you're going to have that. You may have the odd day where you don't sell anything or you sell like a five pound item or something and that's it. Um, but that doesn't tend to happen. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think a week of no sales would 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 send would be, a meltdown. Yeah, I've got to say though, eBay must be a little bit concerned about their sales because they did a discount over the weekend, didn't they? Like a a, a code, and yeah. I've just seen that today. There's another one. Yeah, that's like that's weird. Why would you like? They said you know spot discount um, at the weekend. You know, save some money. And and then Monday's gone, and then Tuesday they're doing that. And and imagine how much money they're paying out on everybody's items. That's a huge. We we saw a yeah. horrific drop off uh, yeah. this weekend. Somehow today yeah. redeemed itself just before last post, as I was saying earlier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, yesterday we did thirty quid and had an eighty pound return. So yesterday was a net of minus fifty odd. Yeah. For example. <laughs> So yeah, we've seen a big drop off. I think everyone, well, we saw, we did really, really well in uh, October, November this year on Christmas stuff, and then didn't see a big spike in December. So people were really getting prepared earlier this year, I think. Yeah. For for gifty stuff, which probably wouldn't have reflected on you guys much. Um, let me scroll back. I saw I just was past a super chat. Oh, it's Mukhtar. That's Aliyah H there. Uh, super chatted five pound. Thank you so much. He says, Nick, can I buy Shenmue? Oh, yeah, of course you can. Um, drop me a message. He says, I won, I won CC'd Super Hang On recently. I deserve a medal. One CC'd Super Hang On. Now, Super Hang On is a game. What is one CC'd it? What? Has one credit one credit clocked or something i don't know i don't know you have one to... credit completed i guess maybe oh. i'm guessing one credit you know the old school you know well, yeah, that would make sense i got next with your with your 20p um and <laughs> uh, it says you hitting andrea over the head with it or was that a guitar here yeah um you're welcome to the shemmy drop me a message i'll let you know um if you don't know what we're talking about it's not here i picked up I was out buying Christmas presents today, and as you do, I popped in a charity shop, and there were three Dreamcast games on a shelf. No way! You don't. Um, you got Shenmue from a charity shop. Yeah, Shenmue one. Um, wow. It has a cardboard sleeve, but it's got all three discs in it, and it's in pretty nice condition. And there was a Metropolis Racer, I think it is. The yeah. other one was a, a crappy title, and it was incomplete and in a mess, so I left that. But yeah, it was nice. I remember Metropolis Street Racer and obviously Shenmue, yeah. Classic. Yeah. Great right. finds. You never see Dreamcast. And, no. get this, the cases weren't broken. <laughs> that is incredible. Well, Dreamcast, if, if you're into your retro games, you'll know yeah. Dreamcast. Worst cases in history. <laughs> well, even worse than PS1. They're just, they're yeah. just all apart. Oh, yeah. And... yeah, you literally open them and it would just come it's off the hinge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you can't buy replacements anyway. Terrible cases. Um okay. Yeah, so drop me a message and we can sort something out, no doubt. Um, all right, let's see. Question, is anyone doing a live stream on New Year's Eve? I'm at work, so I need some company, says Fallen and Bruce. I'm okay. sure there'll be someone on. I'm yeah. sure someone I don't will. Know what we're doing at New Year's, so <laughs> no idea yet. Adrian is in there saying the reselling community is like having lots of brothers and sisters who are like-minded in what we do. Well, it certainly gives me someone to talk about this to uh if nothing more and people who seem interested to listen um so yeah uh lex, just... lex says december has been my best month even though i sell mostly secondhand clothes wow fantastic 
question nick would you ever go on popmaster i've been talking about it for years i've never plucked up the courage the trouble with popmaster is they have a lot of 70s and even 60s questions and my knowledge of that is slim to none if it, if it was 80s and 90s popmaster i'd go on in a flash the truth says I seem to get sales immediately after calling eBay to complain about something, starting to think eBay reps buying my stuff. <laughs> um, you know what? It's weird you say that, but I felt that when I had to call eBay, um, suddenly I got some sales, but I, I had to call them because someone left. Okay, this is annoying because this guy bought two items from me um, and he left positive comments with negative feedback. And I just about got it removed. And then, he, like, he decided then to leave feedback for the second item he bought. So now I've got to call and get that removed as well. So annoying. So he just didn't understand how it worked? I guess so, because the comments are both positive. Um, I'm not being but, funny, but how, how daft do you have to be to not understand no. that? I don't know. Red <laughs> normally means danger, bad, whatever. But, like, yeah. And, and the thing is the guy nearly didn't remove it at first it was only like because i complained that he called back and said oh good news you know we can we can do it so i'm hoping they're going to be, be be able to do it um alia says yes one cc is one coin credit okay right i remember i had super hang on on the master system the sega master system uh pete is doing a live tomorrow at 4 p.m Oh, if anyone's cool. about. Uh, can I just say Marge Sibson? That's pretty good. That's Sib's new name. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Marge Sibson. That's another great looking back. <laughs> you list all of Sib's names for the last yeah, one. I think so. They're amazing. Yeah, bang Bang is a good one. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> um, <laughs> Libel is in and says, when you don't sell for a few days, what worked for me is mentioning in the chat chat, and if through magic I sold an item within minutes after mentioning it, it hasn't stopped since. There you go. Go on the Touch Up Facebook group and moan about your sales and, and magically it will happen. It. Oh, Derek is in. Hey, Derek. It's a great community, he says. Made so many new friends this year, all from this community. Yep, Derek came down to Hitchin with his brother. That was lovely. Um, and you inspired me to get a... Oh, I might have it here. One of these. Do you know what this is here? Um, no. <laughs> no. It comes with a rope. No, I still have no clue what this it is. It's an incredibly powerful magnet. Okay. And you go magnet fishing. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> magnet fishing. Yeah. So you, you go to rivers, canals, under bridges, whatever, and you, you pull out whatever you can find that's metal. I, hold on. Isn't um, Chad gotten into that over in the States? Yes, Chad does it, yeah. He's gotten into that. Like, So you can just go out and find some... Yeah. You, aren't you just going to find, like... Well, I suppose you don't know what you're going to find. That's the whole thing, but... You, you generally, I think, find absolute rubbish. <laughs> Cans and things like that, yeah. I was watching a guy... Well, I watched Derek doing it, and they were pulling out, like, a bike and, and other random stuff. But there was a guy in North London doing it, and he pulled out an Uzi machine gun. No way. <laughs> wow. Uh, and I've seen people in America pulling out like really vintage uh, handguns and stuff, obviously rusted to hell and useless, yeah. but it's just fascinating. Um, is... Yeah, you can pull out all sorts of stuff. Well, yeah, it could be anything, literally. So I'm going to have a go. I was, I was chatting to Tom. Maybe Tom and I will get together. I know in uh, where Tom is, they have a lot of canals up there. Um, there are quite a few around here as well. And it's the sort of thing you could just sit by the river with a can of beer and just chuck your magnet in and see what you find. And now I've got my GoPro, I can film it as well with a, with a chest cam. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay. Oh, George is off. He says, got to go now, guys. Loved 2018 um, in this reseller family and look forward to another year. Thanks, George. Ah, I saw another question. Ah. Oh, God, I, they just rush by. 
Um, uh, Michael says, oh, it's for metal in water. I thought it's because the fishes may be so contaminated with metals that they have become magnetic. Well, I convinced my daughter that I was going to go fishing for magnetic fish. And she believed me. <laughs> um, Starley says, in Enfield, people were whipping out guns and rounds. Better hope nobody got ditched in the canal with gold teeth still in. <laughs> oh, God. That's a bit morbid, but, you know. <laughs> um that gold isn't magnetic anyway no it's oh good point yeah exactly you do a test don't you the magnet test for yeah. that and you know then you know that it's not um legit um what else did i have on my list yeah mr sadie says yeah most things of value are not magnetic <laughs> Well, it's just for the it's for the fun, I suppose. It's isn't it? for something to do, a bit of a hobby that, and you stand a very, very slim chance of pulling out something interesting. <laughs> exactly. You've got um, to have a hobby. I, I was going to say another thing. I think it was this year. It might have even been last year when you got involved with the thrift battle, and I thought you were going to do that again. Is that happening? Um, it was meant to be happening. Um, but um the guy that i was meant to be thrift battling um he, his internet didn't work um so oh. they they had to postpone it that's what oh. they said so they told me i reckon he just got scared and just well, he, he, he was up against you know yeah and you know he thought well i, I can't i can't can't do this what was i thinking that's what i reckon happened but the official line is that he, apparently his internet broke um so the, apparently it's going to be rescheduled at some point um but now i'm like i sold all the cool stuff i bought I think for it. Oh no! Yeah. So oh. and, I, and now I'm like, where am I going to go? Because I don't really want to. I'm not going out and buying right now because it's just working. And I'm like, oh, no, yeah, I'm not look, sure. I didn't contact either Chris or Steve yeah. because I wasn't sourcing and had nothing of any. I think that's the thing. You've got to be now, in constant. Sort of, yeah, you should just no, go and pick something out. Yeah, <laughs> and and because it's all random as well, it will look completely. Yeah, yeah. You know, fit right in. Because it has to be five different, like, you know, items type thing. So, but was that this year when you got involved last time? I'm, um, I think, I'm not sure. I think it was probably last year. Uh, no, no, I don't know. It might, might, I'm really bad with them. Um, I think it may have been early this year, like early, yeah. like, but I can't remember. I don't quote me on it. I don't time know. merges into one. Continue. Yeah, I'm not good with, with them um, time frames. Frenzy, really. <laughs> um, Oh, Derek just told us it's his second flat Eric. Fantastic. Just now. Ah. I've never had a flat Eric. Ah. You've got to find one of them. Yeah, I've never had one. I'm a bit gutted about that. Got to say, finding a, a Shenmue at a charity shop is pretty awesome, though. That I is pretty quite awesome. believe it when I saw it. And it was yeah, one ninety nine. I... I then picked it up and thought, what are they going to price this at? One ninety nine. That's coming home with me, I said. <laughs> Oh wow, Derek got fifty pounds for each one. I assume he's still talking about the uh, flat Eric's. That's a good price. That is not bad at all for a three pound pickup. Wow, if we could all do that all day long, we'd be rich. I still haven't even touched the video games I bought. I, I was just like they're in the cupboard now. <laughs> but then you were saying you weren't that worried about. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Yeah, I'm kind of just like. It's an uh, Kind of, yeah. I, I, I could sell them, you know. But I'm like, I've got other things to. Or because they're the kind of item that you could cash those in at any given moment, kind of. I don't know how long they. I don't have know. Long yeah, I in. don't know how much. I think if I went to sell them, I'd probably have to price them a bit competitively. I mean, there's someone that's had like a Smash Brothers listed for like. I don't know, like three hundred and something or four hundred and something dollars for quite a while, and it's got watches, but I don't know. But almost as like an insurance rainy day policy. Yeah, you could just months and you just, okay. Just, yeah, I could, I could exactly. So, um, I've got a Smokey and Bandit double DVD listed for fifty quid. Says Paul Calvert. Wow, nice. Um, Pete says there. Question would be great if you could have Bonafide Hustler on your channel. He's been on, hasn't he? Yeah, we had um, Chris on once, uh, yeah. and we had Steve on. Yeah, if not twice. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I think 
if I can get back into that, it, it does take a fair bit of organising and behind the scenes work to set those With up. With the times, it can be difficult as well, can't it? Like yeah, the, the, the American ones, and they're yeah. all such busy people. But yeah, you know, I will try and um, certainly get more chats going because it's fascinating. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoy just hearing other people's stories and finding out how they got into this game, what their plans are, and stuff like that. And I know those are some of the most popular videos I've ever put out. So I'll certainly get back into that. Yeah, chats are fun, definitely. Um, we, we're we 10 past seven now. I know we had a brief break where everything fell apart. <laughs> but we'll, we'll read a couple of bit more bits from the chat and then wrap this up. Um, I don't think there'll be one next Tuesday. We're going to all be doing Christmas fun stuff. So yeah. I doubt very much there'll be a chat in this format coming yeah. up Tuesday, but we'll get back into it in the new year. Well, it's, um, it is actually Tuesday next week is Christmas. Oh, that, is that Christmas Day? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's definitely not. Yeah. Um Sean says 30 minutes later, I still can't purchase on eBay. Update my card and eBay resets it. Anyone sold anything last 30 minutes and got payment received? I'm sure people have. Do you know what? Just because it, things can be like localized with sites like ebay where i'm sure there will be people that will be like yep just sold something and been paid yep sold something and been paid um but there will then be a bunch of other people that will be having the same issue as yourself so i think it's just uh, if there is something it might just be a glitch or something yeah um pete was just asking there what youtube plans do i have this week Andrew is still putting together vlogs. Um, we were out yesterday with a mystery guest, um, uh, a reseller that you'll all know. So Gave that away a little earlier, but okay. Yeah, gave that away earlier. Um, so that'll be coming out uh, tomorrow. I'm going to be chatting with Luke um, about this haul and how that came about and Luke's uh, plans, which should be really interesting. So tune in for that. And then Thursday, we're actually doing a hangout with Hannah from eBay. It's not going to be live, um, but that will be probably edited and up by the end of the week. Um, cool. That's our YouTube plans. Cool. Okay. Oh, Derek says he got paid for Flat Eric, so Derek is receiving payments. Uh. So it's not a, a fault right across eBay. My favourite was that record I picked up for a pound and got almost 3k for, says Alia. Really helped my driving this year and got my licence. I can never top that sell though. Wow, that's yeah, I, that's a crazy good sell. Yeah, I, for a, yeah. a vinyl record? I, I don't even think I've sold anything for more than a grand before. No, I don't think I've ever... That's amazing. That is. Yeah. I mean, I only have twice... Yeah. And one was my own camper van, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's really difficult to actually, if you think about it, get a sale for something you find for over a thousand pounds. Yeah. Unless you sell like jewelry or something, but even then. Um, question Z, will you have a special stream of you and the boys <laughs> playing potato night? Um I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I've not I, I'm, I was thinking of playing some games. I've just not played recently. I need to. I haven't even done many YouTube videos to be honest. We were uh, like, just not been. You know, yeah, I, I go through I, patches. I just just thought looking back, one thing we didn't touch on was you went mad for it on gaming oh, for a couple of months. Yeah, you know, I, I, that scares like, me. But that scares yeah, me though. Yeah. That's my issue. I'm really compulsive man i can't like um that's what worries me about play that's why i've like i'm an all or nothing kind of person like uh, oh, i, I really I that about you since knowing you it's yeah. like you're, you're i really like, like excited about something and then you're like nah, that's it because no. now i'm like it's been five days like me and beck have been trying out like a new diet type thing you know like i've not had like i can't have a little bit of coke like it's been five days i've not had a single drop of coca-cola because mm. i can't be that person that can cut down and be like you know what instead of drinking a, a, a 1.25 liter bottle in an evening i'll tell you what i should have a small glass i can't do that um so i have to go you know all in and all out um so it's 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 always risky for me um so we'll see how it goes i probably will end up playing over christmas but i don't know <laughs> <coughs> oh dear excuse me. dry cough no worries yeah i've got a cold 
right okay well i'm going to wrap this up i've got to get some stuff done thank you so much for joining in the side chat um i'll see you tomorrow if you're about i think we're aiming for a similar sort of time i haven't fixed it with luke but i think we'll probably go for six or seven uh so similar sort of time so if you're about tune in for that and say hello um uh, will you be live on friday z um hopefully yeah that's the one thing we have managed to keep going so we will <laughs> we will probably be live on friday but i will say probably just in case <laughs> but yeah we probably will okay well i'll be there if you are as long as i'm about um yeah thank you again for joining us uh if you enjoy these chats just leave us a thumbs up um you know it's nice to i'm, enjoy I'm enjoying yeah enjoy, enjoying the old school format it's been nice everyone getting in there and it's a lot of chat to keep up to keep up with but yeah. yeah um wishing everyone a wonderful christmas a lot of christmas wishes coming in so thank yeah, you uh, have a fun time enjoy it spend time with family that's what it's all about for me and um we'll be back with more tap chats in the new year maybe something interesting something special in between uh haven't really got anything planned cheers to here thanks for joining me no no worries at all all right thanks, thanks guys happy christmas yeah merry christmas